This is Brant Fowler, and you are listening to Comic Related's NYCC 2014 Tapes. Welcome, everybody, to the NYCC 2014 Tapes, where we present interviews from New York Comic Con 2014 provided to us by Agent Stephen Walker. Who, is a, who was at New York Comic Con all the way from the UK on behalf of Comic Related to uh, talk with several creators. We have a bunch of interviews coming your way, and we are uh, kicking it off with an interview with PJ Burns, who voices Bolin, and Janet Varney, who voices Korra on the Legend of Korra animated television series. So without further ado, here is Steven. Take it away. How are you enjoying New York Comic Con so far? I love it. How are you enjoying it? Well, listen, any excuse to be in New York, I get real excited. Yeah, it's a nice time. Um, The fans here are great. We love being here. We love that this uh, particular area that we're doing this interview right now, you guys can't see because this is uh, not video, but it is well lit. It's beautiful. We get the cloudy sky. It's the most well lit room I've ever been in my life. It might actually be. Um, and you it's look a blast. gorgeous. You look you gorgeous. Look handsome as all. Yes. Yeah, I almost put his eye out Steven, earlier. So you are beautiful Thank as you. well. <laughs> and there's coffee coming in. Thank you so much. You an extra sugar too. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> now get out of here. And that's how we talk to people around us. That's right. Stephen, what do you want? <laughs> We're very up and down. We're very yeah. uh, moody. Right, totally. One minute what we'll are be we really now? nice. We're like, hey, Stephen. Oh, Stephen, we Good love to see you so much. Now let's glasses. continue this interview. Is that the shirt you really want to be wearing today? Oh, that's more of a yeah. uh, passive aggressive. I'm going to take that shirt. Good, good. I'd like to borrow a shirt. Yeah, it's a great I shirt. I don't know how hard it is to find a Quora t shirt. Believe me, we know. In the UK? In the that's UK. the word of the street. What about fan art online? Because I feel like I found some good t shirts by ordering them off the internet. It's fucking fun. Yeah, there's right. some good stuff out there. Are you going to get a piece of that? Are you going to get a cut of that? No, listen, I don't think anyone does, including Nickelodeon. Hey. For the fan art? Yeah. Um, the main thing for me is, with Berlin, will he will he meet Pabu again? Will they join together again? Because Am I allowed to say Pabu together. dies? Oh my god, hey, how dare you? No, Pabu does not die. Pabu will live on forever. That's right. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I, Stephen, I can't tell you the answers to this, buddy. I, I want to tell you, I and know. I tell you I love you. I can talk vaguely about the season. Okay. I can tell you that the the problem uh, that Bolin faces are by himself. He doesn't have Korra or his brother Mako to help him. And I think he, even though he's coming from a place of, of gold, he's going to learn his his decisions and the choices he make have consequences. And people are going to get hurt, damn it. Oh, my gosh. Steven, wow. This is very get out dramatic. Of I'm just trying to save very you. Very dramatic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to save you. Oh, wow. So get out of this room, everybody. Yeah. And then how did you feel when they announced they were going to cut Cora's hair? It's really short. Uh, you know, I, I support it. I used to have short hair. I miss it in many ways. I was uh, not ever going to cut my hair in solidarity. But... Um, you know, we. The, I think there's there's some great symbolism that happens on this show, and and uh, I think that um, you know taking a page from history, when we see people cut their hair off, a lot of the time it means they're like, all right, I guess I'm, I guess I'm a grown up now, kind of thing, and um, and I think it was a great transition for her. Because yeah. when I've watched the series from the beginning, to me, it's it's not about Cora being the avatar; it's her being. Ways to grow up as an adult. That's what I get. From. I, don't know mm, if I think I'm that's right. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you know. No, I don't. I don't disagree. She, she is the avatar, but to me, the whole series is just about growing up. And, you know, making friends and yeah, learning things. Totally. We were kids. We're learning a lot. I mean, it's like, Lily. it's like we were going off, we were thrown in the deep end of the water, like going to college, and mm-hmm. now we're like on our own, and we're, the things that we learned and the people that we met and the choices we made in the past are, are affecting the choices we're making now, and watch out. There's consequences. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I think, you know, I said, I said uh, in another interview today, but it's kind of the first time I really thought about it, was that... Um, you know, we've all, I think we all get go through situations where we feel like we're forced to deal with things that we feel that we're not ready to deal with yet. And I think that that's what this series has really represented for me, is understanding that that can happen on a huge scale and it can happen on a tiny scale, but it's very universal. You do, I don't think you ever outgrow that. It doesn't matter how old you get. Something will happen to you that you're like, I don't think I'm ready to deal with this yet. Uh-uh. And what's so great about these characters and our journey with them is that we see them have to take it on and we see how it affects them and we see how they pull through it. And how it affects 
hundreds and thousands and millions of people. That's right, yes. DJ. Get out of here! <laughs> 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 What do you get from the fan reaction when you go to cons like this? Oh, it's the best. It's the best. It's my favorite thing about the job, I think. Yeah. Um, I love doing cons. I love seeing people cosplaying our characters. Um, I love the passion that people have uh, online and the, you know, the arguments that they get into and stuff about things. I mean, they just really care about this world. It's very awesome. real for a lot of people. It's real for us, and, and um, it's exciting and cool to be a part of something that's not just, like, superficial, you know? Yeah. And there's danger. Get out! No, get out! Yeah. <laughs> so much danger. Who's your favorite characters? Cora. Cora. I know I love Bolin. Cora. I always say. But I, love I was Cora. I, I say you. No. Come you on. know I do. I always. You're say lying. You. you know I do. Whenever I do other friends, they're like, "Oh, what's your favorite character?" I'm, I'm like, like it's Cora. And I say it's called the Legend of Fucking Cora. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here! You gotta get out of here. Uh, Cora de la Cora. Yeah, I always say you, and oh, I, I say Varric because John Michael Higgins. Oh, I know he's amazing. So hard. I think I just I, I think his character hurt me so much. I would I know, say him, but it's like how are you? Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm all right. Are you okay? Uh, oh my god, are you crying right now? He's crying. Oh my god, Get you're out sobbing of here. right now. You are sobbing right it's now. It's emotional. It's emotional. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like Steven a lot too. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Mike, the character of Steven, yes. He's, he's wonderful. wonderful. The, the, he's going to come in. The interviewer on the he's show. He's going to come, yeah, yeah. at episode 19 of season four. Yeah. Is it? He's he's really, he really, he really saves the day. I kills it. Kills it. Kills away, it. Yeah. But. What, what do you think Simon will take from when it, di- when it ends? Do you think, what will their legacy be? <laughs> I think, honest, honestly, this is what I think about a lot. I think the way how all this played out, uh, if it's not on TV or whatever, I think that this show will stand the test of time that more and more people over time will come to, to I mean that's to what see happened it. with Avatar which yeah. is so great you know we still see people I say this all the time but we go to the cons we see people dressed as Aang we see people, dre- totally. people dressed as yeah. uh, Azula I mean there are people they really keep it alive and that's you know we were lucky enough to sort of be able to pick up where that left off and, and we there was this wonderful built in fan base yeah. already there and I'm really looking forward to people constantly rediscovering Absolutely. and discovering the show in years to come yeah because I started off with Cora and now I've only just started watching Avatar the last yeah. what was that like weird yeah <laughs> <laughs> really weird yeah. kind of seeing the older versions yeah. Or and then going back. Sure, it's, sure, like flashbacks. Yeah. But not, yeah. But no, and the art's a little different and It's just different. Get out get of here. Get out of here. We should do that in the car. <laughs> like, I didn't even get into that. It's gonna get very sure dangerous. Whoever just be careful that's right, in this that's room. That's right. Maybe get out of yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very everyone just be real careful of what's gonna go on. I just keep I get, looking around a lot. Like, like, no, Steven, you're, you're the man, yeah, bro. Not- Thanks, Stephen. That was Agent Stephen Walker with PJ Byrne and Janet Vardy from The Legend of Korra. Great interview. We were proud to have them on the site. So look forward to more New York Comic Con 2014 interviews right here on Comic Related's NYCC 2014 tapes. Until next time, this is Brant Fowler signing off. If it's comic related, you'll find it here.